Hello guys, Garcia here. Welcome back to anti tribute So today guys, we'll be going to the Malkavian Mansion first to get the item we need for the companions. Going so let's go. We already did all of the secondary quests that we needed to or that we could without the companions from the mod. So now we unfortunately have to do this quest first today. This quest is terrible in this mod. You guys will see. You. What are you doing here? Good old Ming Zhao. Yo, Nines, what's up? No. Uh, that wasn't a yes or no question. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Uh, sure. Why? So there you go. So basically what's going to happen here is that <laughs> we are blocked off, as you can see. So we cannot enter. So the person that created the mod actually added a like a, a parkour section here. And we need to jump all the way to a door up there. You cannot see from see it from here. There. Up there. Right there. So <laughs> there's no point in jumping here and trying to open this door here because it also doesn't work. Yeah. So <laughs> unfortunately we have to do that. So we have to save a lot because the problem with this section is not the jumping. Is that you get stuck constantly on the objects that are these like basically these bars here that you have to jump and uh, you have to jump on and already I'm already stuck <laughs> on something that isn't even the bar so you guys will see how annoying it is oh a dog there you go I didn't even remember that but yeah, for some reason the person that created the mod did this this is the only thing that I don't like in the mod to be honest that I really really don't like I have no idea why it is the way it is. The dogs here is fine, whatever, you know. There's tons of vampires that have like ghouls that are animals, especially dogs and wolves and things of that nature. But uh, the parkour section here is pointless. And also this quest is basically like reversed when we enter or once we enter, you guys will see. So I have to save all the time here, so I apologize, but I don't want to do this like in one go because I don't think it's going to work. So I need first to be able to come to this side. There you go. I'm here. All right. So I cannot walk too far. The main thing that gets you stuck here are the intersection. So if you step on this, for example, you might get stuck. So let me prepare for this jump here. <laughs> I'm preparing psychologically and yeah there you go already stuck instantly so you guys know right away <laughs> what we are dealing with here all right so I apologize because I, I am actually posting two videos in one day this is a rare occurrence it's not gonna happen every day don't need to worry about it just because yesterday I had the video ready the Onimusha video that I have on my channel uh, up on my channel now and I wasn't able to post it because my internet died so it only returned today so that's why I'm posting two videos in basically like the same like 12 hours that's not gonna happen again so don't worry about it all right so let's go again all right this time I'm still here all right so let's save every successful jump we'll save here also, this is the place in which we will first time, like, for the first time, really see something really different. You guys will see. Not only the quest in and of itself, but something that happens after the quest. I'll try to not give any spoiler away until we reach that point. Okay, so... <laughs> Already down. So, let's load. This, this quest is actually hard in this mod. Really hard for several reasons you guys will see there you go fell again there's a guy up there if you you just notice the bar showing up there in the shot but there's a guard up here you can see him from here I don't know if it's like a Malkavian not a Malkavian sorry a Nosferatu or something like that we'll see oh there you go did it but clearly he's a vampire Yeah, gotta be Nosferatu. Oh, no, it is a Malkavian, actually. I forgot to use potency here because I'm not even seeing the guy. Oh, come on. This 
guy's very strong, Jesus. I'm trying to not use too much blood here because there's going to be a lot of lots of combats on this one. So yeah, this quest actually starts here in this mod. Lots of things are going to be in a different order here. I'm going to be completely honest, this this quest in the way it is in this mod is completely unnecessary. Just completely pointless. There's no need for this to be as annoying as it is. Uh, <laughs> oh no, disease blood my favorite, everybody loves disease blood, awesome so I cannot feed on these guys apparently, yeah so that's going to make it even harder, so yeah the maze, we start the quest at the maze which is the, the worst part of this quest, that's, I think the vanilla version doesn't even have the maze, I think the clay quest version has it. And I, I'm not sure if the unofficial patch actually puts this quest in the game again. Not sure. It's been a long time since I played anything that is not either clan quest or war games, you know? Oh, some body parts. Well, not weird in what Kevin mentioned. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. There's traps too, <laughs> so if you're not enjoying it yet, it's going to get better and more fun, quote unquote. Can I leave? Or am I dead? Man, that's a brutal trap for a vampire, let me tell you. Oh, it stopped. Okay. So it didn't kill me. If it is the same as the maze in the clan quest mod, I probably just need to walk around until I find the correct route here. Can I feed on this one? This guy's not like the other ones. Let me use potions just to make this easier for me. The damn <laughs> lamp is a pain in the ass. So uh, if you guys haven't watched the other videos on the channel, obviously the ones that I posted before Vampire here. The last two, I caught a very mean cold, so obviously my voice is terrible right now, and I apologize for that. And I also I might cough during the the recording here, so I apologize for that as well. Yeah, I don't need to feed on this guy, so let's just. Can I open this? No. So in the original, I like this quest because of the vibe of the quest, because of the voice of the doctor that you can play in like the vinyl records and stuff in the recordings. And I also like the idea of like a Malkavian mansion, you know, a, a mansion that came out of the mind of a Malkavian, and how crazy it got he got in the latter stages of his life, you know. It's like a physical manifestation of his issues mentally. That is very cool. That said, the quest in and of itself is nothing like amazing to play after you play it for like the first few times. It's one of those that I don't really care that much for in terms of like replayability, it just doesn't have that characteristic. Alright. Yeah, I'm not going to use potents against the, the grunts here. I just don't think it's a good use of the blood. Unless they have guns. There you go. <laughs> Instantaneously. That's karma, man. If they have guns, then definitely I need to deal with them with potents because there's a bunch of vampires here. He's clearly using obfuscate, as you can see. Or not see. Okay, alright, so this one I already have, I'm still using the the axe by the way, because I don't know if at this point, oh I should have switched, because if you guys remember in the last episode I actually got the extra melee point, this song is so annoying, 
uh, the extra melee point from uh, Nice at the last round, so that means that now I can use this weapon with uh, less penalties, so in this case it does way more damage. I don't like the combo of the weapon, never like the combo of the katana in this game, but might as well use it because the damage is way higher. Alright, so sometimes the blood heal works, other times it doesn't. I just have to keep using it until it actually works. Oh, this guy's different too. I'm going to kill this lady and I'm going to feed on this guy. Oh, there's another one. Damn it. I need to survive first. Okay. That's good enough. Get up. I need food. Oh, what a dodge. Come on. Thank you. There you go. So apparently these guys that don't have the masks, you can feed on them, I guess. I don't know why. They, they clearly have a lot of blood in their clothes here. So maybe I thought they were already dead, meaning vampires or ghouls. But apparently I can drain them, so whatever. Recover the machete we sold earlier. What is this? Oh. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, my god. Oh, that's a big haul. Okay, so can we keep going through here? Yes. Okay, so let's just check the other side just real quick, just to see if we need to do something here. Because I don't want to go come back here. <laughs> I don't want to replay this quest at all. Yeah, one of those weird shadows that appear in this game sometimes. Oh, it's closed. Okay. I guess I don't need to do anything. Alright, come on. Okay. There's no point in being stealthy here, to be honest. Dr. Malcolm. My man. Oh, there's no stairs here? Can I, like, flip the switch or something? Maybe? Or at least the, the room with the writings still available? Phone is there. Uh, nothing here. Okay, so the inscriptions I think are the same. Paranoia here in the screen. Yeah, I think they are the same as the base game. The bottle, no one here. This is Vandal, right? Yeah. Me, the model. <laughs> okay. So let's check this. What? Alright, press 1, okay. So what happened? Press 2. Nothing happened. Okay, press 3. Nothing. Okay, there's more. Okay, press 4. Let's try to press all of them to see. Press 5. And press uh, 6. I pr actually pressed 6 on my keyboard <laughs> instead of 3, which is the option. That's why I'm taking forever here. I'm getting confused. What about 7? Uh, 7 is 1. Oh, I see. So it's like a password. All right, so eight. Uh, let's try zero. No. Okay, so again, eight. I don't remember this at all. Uh, oh, it worked. There you go. 
yeah, less of a password, more of a like a couple of numbers, a couple of uh, characters. Okay. You see that? I don't mind. I don't mind like extra puzzles and things of that nature. What I don't like is like starting right on the maze and a lot of extra combat that this quest has, as far as I remember. Apparently, I'm not remembering that well because I don't remember that part there. Uh, four stone sculptures keep the passage to the chamber of Elder. Okay. Jesus, I'm burning alive here. Okay, I'm still fine. Four statues, huh? Well, so we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's try here. So I don't, I can't touch them. I also cannot push them, I don't think. Huh. Well, so medieval style, the only thing left to do, you break them. Yeah, it's not working. Oh, there you go. My man. So I just need to do enough damage, I guess. It's actually hard to stay up here. There you go. This side is going to be more complicated. Hopefully, yeah. As I thought. I was like, hopefully I'm not going to burn right away. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Jesus Christ. It's taking forever. Uh, let me position. Okay. Since I'm going to take damage anyway, might as well position myself in the best way possible here. Okay. What now? The stones guard the way to something. Uh, maybe this, I guess. Oh, actually, it is this. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, a little extra puzzle here. Hey, where you going, man? Yeah, let me give me blood, please. I'm burning. You know what these guys remind me of? These guys that, uh, where you going, man? These thugs that you fight against in the game here. They remind me a lot of the early enemies of Borderlands. I love Borderlands, by the way. The only action, purely action game that I like is Borderlands. It's really good, really funny, too. If you like Diablo-style games, but with guns, Borderlands is your jam. Speaking about Borderlands, there's a movie coming. We'll see. Fallout has been going, doing pretty well in terms of uh, critic score and things of that nature. So who knows, maybe the Borderlands movie which could be good. I find it hard to believe, but who knows. A lot of movie like game adaptations lately have been working, right? Less of Us and things of that nature. So, maybe the situation st is starting to fix itself. The whole, like, you cannot adapt video games to, to a screen ever because it will always be bad. Maybe that's not going to be the case forever. Uh, in increases dominate duration and damage by 150 LL. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay. Minus one blood during feeding. Yeah, I'm going to take this just to sell later. Because I have dominate, but I'm not going to use it, so... Alright, so open. Oh, sorry, wrong door. Okay. So maybe eventually most games that will be adapted to the big screen or just to like to series and stuff. Hey. 
Oh, there you go. So I thought I told you guys, I remember that this part became like a war zone here, in this mod. Especially because you have to always keep in mind that all the quests from now on are geared towards players that have followers. So if you're, if you're like, whoa, there's too many enemies, that's because it should be like several people fighting here, you know? What the hell is this guy? Yeah, I don't know how I can feed on this, these guys here because they, they are almost like zombies. So I can hardly like imagine that they would survive these conditions here without being some sort of supernatural being, you know? But this is the Malkavian Mansion, so... I don't need to explore like every room by the way, but since it's modded, maybe there's like an item that I don't know. That's why I'm checking the corners. You know, let's not leave any dollars on the table here. Hey man. Oh, I heard a gun. That guy has to die right now. Come on. Trying to not use potents, but my god. Alright, let's just kill everybody here. Alright, we'll give you a blood. Thank you. <laughs> this is the nurse lady from Santa Monica. Okay. And that feeding's taking a while. That's why I think it's not like a huge problem to carry around that artifact that I just got. That one that makes oh alien my man what are you doing here too far from home dude okay speaking about the alien there's going to be an alien movie this year too it's called like alien romulus i think i think it's like a return to the base premise of the franchise meaning a bunch of people stuck on a spaceship with a an alien creature trying to reproduce and eat them, you know? Actually, as far as I remember, I don't think the aliens actually eat. I think they just use the humans to repro reproduce. I, I don't even think they feel hunger, to be honest. Which makes them even scarier because they are not killing to eat. They are killing just because they are like territorial. Just because they want to kill, you know? It's in their instincts to kill. That's even scarier. That's why the movie back in the day worked, and that's why a bunch of sequen sequels, uh, sequences, a bunch of sequels recently have been failing miserably. Especially, especially that Prometheus movie. My God, that movie is atrocious. It's terrible. So uh, I hope they go back to the formula. You know, even if it feels samey. Kind of what they did with Hellraiser and Predator. The recent Predator, I, I think it's called like Prey or something like that. And the recent Hellraiser, I think it's just called Hellraiser. If I'm not mistaken. No, that's a lie actually. I forgot the, the subtitle of the movie. But both movies are really good and both, both movies bring back, back the franchise to the roots, you know, for the most part. Oh, there's a guy here actually. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't leave anything behind. Don't worry, I know where the Constupro is, so there's no chance of missing it. Actually, there is a chance of missing it if you don't know what you're doing. Meaning, you don't know that Anti Tribu is all about the, the followers. So you can totally miss it. This part is this jump is so terrible to, to do correctly. There you go. But uh, it's, it's a pretty, in, in a pretty obvious place. Oh, this guy's loaded! My God, he has a sword that's better than mine. Using the bro sword. Can I get this? Why I can't get this? Do I already have it? 
Oh, I'm maxed out, I see. Let me just drop something terrible here, which is most of what I have. Just go. No water pipes. So I like this sword more. Maybe it does way less damage. No, it does more. So that's perfect. So good timing on the melee thing, because now we have the probably the best weapon that you can get. Maybe later we'll get something even better, I don't know. Doc. The voices have increased in frequency and, and direction. direction of late. They have begun to I love stay with me long after conversation. Oh, it's ceased, closed. And serving is quite a I see. I fear others are beginning to notice Can I open this? my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I'm thinking again of the particular uh, vampire. Let's try guns. Any gun. I, whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my there you go. If, if the voices are to be believed, then my caution is what This is the one thing that makes this quest uh, past and future. Like More replayable. Once, I have seen the suspicion in his Just eyes hearing the story again. The doctor uh, telling the story, you know. The fear must register. Another dog. Face, as it my is man. all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. Oppressed? Something opened, probably that door there. Alright, so we are already close. That said, I'm gonna be honest, we are skipping a portion here. There's a portion that brings us back to the... That place in which you can get the blood, if you guys remember. Uh, there's like a, a place where there's like a refrigerator. And there's some blood packs. But I, I'm going to be honest, I don't want to go there, <laughs> you know, just some extra dogs and things of that nature that we need to kill. I I'm just going no to skip that. I okay. know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic. And I, I hope there's not like a book or something like that there. Entirely. Oh, by the way, this is a visual bug that I always have in this game. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, that, that guy right there is B. <laughs> there's definitely a guy right there. The voices compel so I have this I visual bug always here, independently of the mod. Oh well, Jesus, the lady's here! Really? That's the wife of the guy. The that's crazy. I don't remember that at all. Will go to any to his ambitions and he knows it, I know. Cool, so I have to actually have to kill her. Uh, that is very cool. That I didn't remember. Oh. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time, so, uh, unfortunately, not privy to the, the video card just doesn't show capability. But the, the voices echo in what the is contained here. Corridors of my and the funny part is, it would have shown here uh, that the approach of which portends an end, uh, an end to all. Of this. I'm trying to speak, but the the doc is talking. So the lady usually is here, right? The wife of the doctor that he like froze in time, basically, to be able to cure the the vampirism. But he actually, she actually left the the enclosure here, which is very cool. I was not expecting that. There's usually a ring here, but I don't know if I actually got it. Maybe, or maybe there's no ring here, right? In the mod. Okay. The only problem with not going to get the blood is because we are going to obviously be missing a few blood packs. That said, I have tons of money, so I think we're fine. Poor guy. You know what mod I'm waiting for uh, bloodlines a lot? One mod in which you you play as a member of the Society of Leopold and actually there is a mod that is working I think basically exactly that idea if I'm not mistaken you guys can look for it in the Planet Vampire forum I forgot the name of it now to be honest I think it's called Prelude if I'm not mistaken the one that Wesp, the guy that, or Wisp, I don't know how to pronounce his name, which is the guy that 
takes care of the unofficial patch. The, the legendary mother. So guys, here it is. The Animus is a chalice. We got it. So today we'll be able to get our first uh, buddies. So let's read. So a weapon of ancient politics. This old chalice allows you to enslave anyone. However, you must convince them to drink blood di directly from this cursed vessel first. <laughs> That's not gonna be easy. So performing tasks is a good way to gain trust or discover weaknesses. So domination or dementation uh, feats also can be used to convince the weak-minded. Weak so the weak, the weaker mind in here means that we can use dominate on like ghouls or human beings to be able to convince them to drink, I guess. And this performing tasks is a good way, which basically means that by doing quests for the person, for for example, VV, for example, you complete the, her two quests. If there's only two quests for her in this mod, then after that you can have the dialogue to try to use the constupro on her, you know. And because we are playing here with good old Thomas here, uh, so we can actually uh, use Dominate too to be able to uh, make them drink. That's why I'm pulling experience, by the way, because I, I'm really not sure exactly what I'm going to need during the process. So I'm just getting as much XP as possible, just in case. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else here. So that's why we came here. So this escape here is going to be way harder, I think, because probably there's going to be way more enemies, I'm guessing. So after we meet Bach here, right away, we'll probably have to fight. I hope not, but I find it very hard to Lord, One of the greatest characters low-key in the game, by the way. How is that? Just vanish, clown. Alright, so I hope the, the path is the same here. Because I barely have any blood to heal, so I cannot miss. So let's just save in here. I'm not confident. I don't know if the music changed. I don't remember the music. Maybe it, it was always this one and I just don't remember. <laughs> it's like a, a Tetris song. Alright. Just vanish. Wait. I can feed on this guy. Is this guy helping us? Yeah, they are actually shooting the other guys. Well, thank you. I hope this doesn't cause... <laughs> Imagine these guys are actually helping us and we kill them and then later on in the quest the guy, guys are like We sent two guys to help you! Why are you killing everybody? So I'm not going to kill this one. Okay, so I hope there's nothing here. Cannot stay anymore. There you go. So yeah, this... We skipped a part of the quest, but it is more annoying than the other one. That said, it's shorter too. There you go. You are my enemy. Feel the power. Yes. Excellent. My power grows once more. My lord, rule. We'll be invincible. Okay, so that happened. So these guys on the the guys on the inside clearly were there to were part of this group here. Now the problem with that is that, that I actually don't know what they are. They have the vibe of like being some type of inquisition. Or like humans that use the power of the creatures of the night to fight them or something like that. Or they are just like Sabbat, another sect. 
because we are Sabat too. But to be, to be honest, since I haven't completed the mod at all, two entire hubs I haven't done. So I have no idea what's the answer to that. So we'll find out together, I guess. Okay, so we are at 15. Okay. I already talked twice to nines, right? Because we cannot do this. Yeah, I have an extra ball, brawl point and also the melee, so I think we're fine. Because after this, nines is not going to be available for a long while. The primogen still haven't. Brawl's dead. Brawl's dead. What? What? My man. <laughs> Such a Bark. deep interpretation. Every time I think he's lost the scent. Bark is a hunt. Look at me. It means I need to con you're becoming quite indispensable to me. Oh, what an honor. I'll go at once. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig. Sure. Yes. I'm short on cash, please. Here. I can't have one of my... Uh, 300 bucks is not amazing. So what do I do? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site. Sure. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. Sure. I will. Not really. I, I have other things to deal with right now. Okay. So usually at the end of the museum quest, you can actually get an extra scholarship point from Beckett. But this is a modded version, so I'm not counting on that at all. All predictions I made so far have been wrong. <laughs> That's why I already have three points in scholarship here. Because I don't think I'm gonna get one here. So I'm going to keep these 16 bonus points for now. Alright, so finally we can get our uh, companions. So let's check what else do I need to do. Oh, I need to do this quest real quick. This one I cannot do yet. These two are tied together. Uh, museum. Also museum. The Plague Bear quest. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, I need to go to... Jesus. That side. <laughs> this side, actually. I forgot where the place of the, the serial killer quest is. It's actually right in front of the last round, right? For a second I was like, damn it, which side? I completely forgot. Okay, so let's do it. So no coughs so far, but I'm not counting on that holding up for the entirety of the recording here. So I don't know if there's any changes here. I want to get the, the, the companions and I want to do the Jezebel quest first, just so you guys can see how strong that lady is right now. It's crazy. She hits hard as hell. Hey man. Uh, sure. Luckily this one is super easy to skip. Doesn't even need to... Okay, okay, I will. I don't want never think about that again. Okay. So let's see if there's something down here. Uh, pages, head. Ooh. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, so this part is basically the same as the base game. All right. Alright, so we're done. This quest now one continues in Hollywood. So now let's go get the guys. Actually, first we are gonna get the gals, I guess. Oh, no, actually, because Nox and Tourette are in the same place, right? So, the asylum. So I really don't need to worry about, worry about chasing any of them down. So I already explained before why I'm not getting Bertram yet. 
which is already have been trouble for us because I've been lacking hacking a lot because of not having the, the computer book. And I'm saying not having because I'm not sure if the mod actually, if it's available on the mod somewhere and I just didn't see it. Or if that's by design, I have no idea that you shouldn't have it right now. Wait. Where to? These trials would be very fun to get and to have, you know. The problem is he's still tied to the Gargoyle Quest too, so I cannot get him either, even if I wanted to, even if it's possible. There's, I think you can get Vandal too, but if you get Vandal, you can't buy blood anymore, so that's a stupid thing to say to do. Same with, with Mercurio, you can get him, I guess. Also a terrible idea. So you basically, you can get the guys that you want, I guess. But there will be repercussions for the until the end of the game because of that decision or for that decision. Okay, so let's talk to good old Nox here. Hey, man, can we talk? So, what do you know about ghouls? Would you like to be my ghoul? Nope. There you go. How about a full-fledged vampire? There you go. So good, before we begin, you will need to drink the blood of this creature. Like, trippy, it's crazy. Oh, man. oh yeah, glad you like it. Just a few more seconds and you won't be a useless idiot anymore. I, I, uh, oh, what are you saying? I mean, you will always be an idiot, but at least now you will be an ob obedient idiot. Master. There you go, we got it. Uh, follow me. F5 or F F6, right? The one that we switch. F6, actually. Okay, so as you can see, he doesn't have any blood. So he has very poor skills here. He's okay in melee. Not like atrocious in range, just meh. So as you can see, he's just an average guy. Not amazing. But he's going to be good as a mid shield. Now, before. I continue here, let me just check if my all of my equipment got transferred. As you can see, when you start transferring stuff, your money goes way down the, the inventory here. That's how you know that you got the items back. As you can see, the hand is down here too, and so on. But other than that, should not have like some bad effects here on my character. But that said, I already had trouble with this before. <laughs> Several times. Come on, dude, enter. So you can always tell them to wait, and so on. There you go. I don't know if the, the elevator is working or not, to be honest. Maybe not. Yeah, we didn't even start the ride because he got stuck. You guys need to see this on the Skyline Apartments, it's absolutely terrible, bugs out constantly. Hey ladies. My guess is to rest going to be way stronger. Good evening. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, uh, how are you getting along? We're bridging where I shed. What's going on? I did get... Oh, be my guess. Therese has officially sided with the Camarilla. Could be a prince one day, and I just happened to find the pendant from the ocean house. Oh, so it wasn't for nothing. All right. Good evening. Hello, sweetheart. So let's see. I have a present for you too. Ooh. <laughs> you have it with you. Can I see it? Uh, right here. What is that? A creature called the Animus Consupro. You can drink its blood. Why would we do that? Its blood grants special powers to vampires. Despicable. Oh, let me be my guest. Okay, so what is it like, Jeanette? Oh my. Mm. <laughs> it's a little different. 
Continue, okay. Nothing's changed. Patience threes, you will feel the change any moment now. See, Jeanette is feeling it. The blood spreads and enslaves your mind. Enough! How dare you! You have no shame. <laughs> Two minds, one body. You also submit to me, threes. Can't tell me what to Both of you quiet. We wouldn't want to bring a bar the bartender into this. There you go. Let all those silly thoughts fade away. Mm -hmm. That thing makes me positively tingly. So willing to give you my soul. Okay. Master, I want... I need to please you. There you go. And how you do that? My allegiance is now official. You control this city. Oh, thank you, Conti. I can do okay. a lot more than just that for you. Okay, and it will now. So now follow me. Do anything for us. There you go. So they are ours now, basically. I want you then to switch clothing. There you go. This is the one I want. Now let me possess her real quick. Oh, F6 is actually Nox. She's F7. There you go. So, this is Tourette. So she has... Oh, Subterfuge 7. That's crazy. Inspection 7. That's really good. Range 6. That's very solid too. Hacking 5. Not quite what I need, but close. Haggle. Okay. There you go. So she's not bad at all. So let's leave. Okay. So you can use them to, to do some tasks, I guess. You can hack with them, you can do like basic stuff. I don't think you can actually fight as them. Meaning if you transfer yourself to them, I don't know if you can fight using their body. I actually never tried that. I don't remember. But I don't have to, I'm stronger than they, they are, for the most part. But the other things are really good. So one thing that you need to do when you have the partners, you have to right away... <laughs> it's buggy as hell, visually, so you have to just excuse the, the bugs. What about the hunter? Let me check real quick. Oh, there you go. You guys will see right away. They are fighting already. Yeah, shooting the guy. Let me wait, they will kill him. For me. Come on. Sick forever. Where are they? Oh, they're here. Come on, help me out. They just stopped. The only way to make them act normal again is to enter, enter, in, to enter stealth mo mode or the enemy has to die, which happened here. That's why I was trying to kneel there. Okay, so what we have to do first, we have to Master. talk to both of them here and we have to talk them, to them about combat here. And I, you can choose to make them only use ranged weapons, you can choose to force them to fight hand to hand if they are really strong in, in that type of combat, which I think is the, the, the case of the, the gargoyle. Or you can just fight and let them be on the background, which is a terrible idea. So I'm going to ask uh, Nox here to only use ranged weapons. And I'm going to ask good old uh, Tourette here to only fight with ranged weapons as well so I can be at close range attacking the enemies and they will be behind me shooting the guys which is exactly what I want a very important thing is that you actually can can give the constructor to prostitutes to so you can basically give it to one let's say I give the constructor to this lady here she will be back at my haven and I can use her as a blood doll you can also make them do different 
positions, you can also change their clothing, you can make them dance, you can make a bunch of stuff, you know? So I think you can have like five at the same time. You can only walk around with two, but you can have several at your haven. They will be in specific positions, either in the haven here in Santa Monica or in the haven in uh, downtown, you know? We're not gonna do that. I don't see the need for that, to be honest. What I'm more, I am more curious here with the feeding. Let me see if I start feeding on this lady here, if they are going to attack her or not. Let's see. I hope not. No, they're fine. Okay. Very important. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to press F. Well, poor lady's dead. Her shadow will be missed. Okay, so we got the companions. So this is a very basic explanation. There's a lot of other things that we need to talk about, but we'll start doing the quests and the doubts and the moments will moments that will like spark debate. I will bring up things that I know about the the companions. And remember uh <laughs> the bugs remember that the companion mod actually is a separate mod it's not a mod that that i think anti-tribute created i think it's a mod that anti-tribute incorporated in the creative process of the mod you know and how the mod works and the mechanics so it's not necessarily part only of anti-tribute you can actually download the companion mod separately in like mod db or in like nexus mods or places like that so if you just want to play vanilla with companions, that's where you go. Now, how you get the companions, I have no idea. I don't know if the Animus Constructor is part of the anti-tribute or if it's part of the companion mod. That part, I don't know, you know? So you guys need to check that for yourselves. Okay, so the quest that we need... Oh, yeah, let's, let's go and fight Jezebel first. That's the first thing. All right, so I didn't need any of my points to do anything here. So let's think. I'm actually going to put one in security, one in stealth. I'm going to put one in computer, obviously. Two in computer, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I know that my combat stuff here is not good at all. But there's some basic stuff that I really need here. Do I have hacking? I have, I have hacking five. So. I remember that the computer on the third floor of the skyline is actually uh, six, right? So I don't think this is enough. So we'll go there later. Not quite at Bertram levels of hacking, but sometimes they walk together and they occupy the same space. Sometimes they, for example, right here, they one of them gets stuck and the other one moves and so on. If they get stuck right in front of you, you can just tell them to get behind me. If you say to them, uh, sorry, if you say to them this option here, uh, stay here. If you get separated, meet up ahead. If you transition into the next door, I guess they they show up. You know, what else here? Yeah, if one of the the the, the slaves here vanish, you can use what, the one you have to bring the other one back. This feel like playing with your emotions is the one that I said that can, you can change the emotions of the character. New outfits. If I say stop traveling with me, I think she goes back to my haven. If I say return to the place I found you, I will come get you if I need you. If I say this, I think they will go back to the spot that they usually are. So in the case of Nox, in the first floor of the asylum, the case of Tourette, in the offices of the asylum. You can also give them some gear, but I've never tried that before. I don't see any reason to do that. Oh, the hunter. Again. And if you get stealthy, that happens, as you can see. That said, in the museum, I'm not going to take them. Just because uh, it's a purely stealthy quest. Just a stealth-based based exercise, basically. So I don't see any reason to bring them. Yes, may I help you? Uh, yes. Is there a guest here named Jezebel Locke? Yes, Miss Locke is one of. 
I need a key. I can't do. That. Uh, is that no friend? I see. Okay. So if you guys remember, we actually did not complete the the Empire Arms here. I didn't explore the, the place fully. Do anything with us. Uh. Stay here. Master. Stay here. So they will stay here, and I will just explore the the hotel real quick to see if we can find some items. I don't remember if I said this, but I think I said that we were only going to explore the the hotel after I got the companions to do the just to do the, the J Jesus Christ to do the Jezebel quest because we already did the Boris quest, right? Or the two quests for uh, Venus, the confession lady. So I think I didn't explore fully. I'm just looking in the direction of the floor just to see if there's something. But nothing so far. Okay. Uh, this is the kitchen, right? Yeah. Usually there's nothing here. Okay. Alright. Bathroom. Yeah. Oh, we almost got stuck there because of the guy. Okay, we're done. So usually there's a ring behind the, the stage here. So let's see. But first let's check the, the area here. Also, I'm walking up to the NPCs here to see if they have like a quest or something. Because you never know with modded versions, right? Any obscure NPC can be like a quest giver or something. Oh, the do you have invitations guy from the Giovanni Mansion? Okay. Alright, so nothing. Huh, got stuck in something here, I don't know what. Is there someone here? This mod loves to put like enemies on random places, so... Usually the ring is like right here, so I don't, don't see any... Oh, there you go, there's a ring. Oh, a book? Life insurance for the undead. Let's check. Subterfuge. Sure. Yeah, another <laughs> very useful book for the collection. This mod right, like really promotes hard some styles of gameplay that most people don't go for. Intimidation, subterfuge, brawl. Brawl is at least more common than the other two, but I never played a full playthrough with seduction or intimidate, I don't think. I don't even know if it's possible. All right, let's Master. go. Uh, come with me. Master. Uh, come with me. There you go. So this is probably going to require a few tries, to be honest. I don't think the companions can die, by the way. They can only like stay down for a while after after they lose a fight. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Uh, just about five. Luckily, we don't need to enter the the elevator. With these guys is very annoying. Okay, so hmm, yeah, it has to be this side. I'm already using the sword. Okay, yeah, this is going to be rough. Maybe not. I, maybe I was too weak in the, the other playthrough. We'll see. Oh yeah. Oh yes. yes I am Jezebel. I know you are. Oh you. Yes. I cannot get There you go. Ooh. Attack them. The Mage is so strong. They are too close. I'm gonna start hitting them by mistake here. 
Oh yeah, the damage starts to come in <laughs> and it's pretty bad for me. Come on, keep shooting her, keep shooting her. There you go. Oh, there's something on the table. I'll check it out later. Where's the rat? Oh, I frenzed it, so I'm gonna die probably. Yeah, I'm gonna die. There's no way. Oh, I got very lucky, but I died. There you go. So as I thought, as hard as I remember, but poor uh, Tourette got stuck outside too, so that doesn't help. The first half of the fight is fine. The moment she uses the, the guns, then it's oh, all better yeah. off. Who do we have here? That was fast. That's Solarity yeah, level 5 so there. I am just a... That's terrifying. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey, stop it, I like to bite. Where are my guys? Oh, there you go. Let's get her into a corner. Come on. Luckily their shots can hit me, as you noticed. <laughs> if that was the case, it would be impossible to do this. Okay, come on guys, you can do this. Just don't let her attack. Damn. The combo of the sword is way too slow, unfortunately. The damage is good. She's using presence and celerity at the same time. There you go. Oh, 5 XP. There you go for a fight brutal as this one. Makes sense. Okay. 500. So everything is higher. The, the rewards are higher. The, the XP is higher. I want to check this, but Do I don't want to get stuck. This master is kind of an extra piece of work that we need to do basically every time, but that also guarantees that we don't won't need to load because we got stuck, you know. Okay, so I already got the gold. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else here. Master, uh, come with me. You too, miss? Do anything. She has a more... I'm going to show you guys. Games we can play. She has a way more revealing outfit, as far as I remember. I don't like it. To use, like, the game. Master. Ugh, come on. This one. The reason I don't like this is because it doesn't make any Master. fucking sense, you know? You're walking around the middle of the street with that. It kind of breaks my immersion, you know? And this one I also don't like because it doesn't also feel like a very uncomfortable to clothe, to to fight in this type of uh, outfit, you know? This one looks more like a something that you can move around while using, you know? Same problem I had with Ada in the original Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil 4, and also in Resident Evil 2 when she shows up the first time. She is like the femme fatale and stuff, but her outfit makes no sense whatsoever. How do you do all that aging stuff using heels? It's just a, just a stupid little thing, you know? Makes no sense to me at all. Oh, at least we didn't get stuck. Well, Nox did. <laughs> I need to feed. Where's the guy that was going to the bathroom? Other side. I think it was actually this guy. Can I feed on this guy without anybody noticing? The guard is way back there. Well, let's see. If it doesn't work, we'll have to get someone else. Yeah, someone saw, but no one is doing anything, so I don't care about the, the violation. I think this is my first one. So it's fine. Yeah, the guard didn't do anything. It's fine. Good job. <laughs> he wasn't even looking at me. 
that's the sign of a great policeman that's one we can get behind okay so the next assignment here we need to fight brother Kanker? Cranker? I forgot the name of the guy I forgot in the last episode and I still don't remember the name of the guy oh the TVs on the streets huh so we already have been played for too long but that's fine we just need to go to the sewers real quick we don't need to do anything just fight the guy I don't know if the guy is going to be as strong as Jezebel maybe but I think I need to talk to yeah I need to talk to cheerleader girl first to be able to to hear the news that there's an extra plague bear on the sewers luckily it's in the same place so I don't need to walk around for that where are the guys come on Nox wow he's not a vampire so you can't blame him for not being as fast as everybody else that said he's a ghoul so at least he's more resistant than a regular human I guess here is one of the places that you can get stuck because of the followers Every narrow place from now on is going to give any F. I can talk to good old Jack there, but I don't see the point. There you go. Get out of the way. Oh, the quest actually completes what when you do that? I didn't know that. I thought the quest only updated. So let me check. Oh, I already have 8 again. I'm going to put it on Charisma here. My persuasion right now is kind of low. After we complete this quest and the brother, the, yeah, the Vic quest. Brother, <laughs> the Bishop Vic quest. I forgot I need to talk to the lady here. Then uh, we'll be able to probably talk to Larry to get his quest. Get away from <coughs> Another guy that dies every playthrough. Poor Bill. Never works out. Okay. Sure. I know. Oh, there you go. Poor dude. I don't need rats right now. I think I can open this. I have luck picking 6 I think and that's without the, the blood buff so. okay what's this oh meat human flesh for the Nagaraja Okay, so another save. Where are my guys? Hopefully the teleporter here. <laughs> I'm alone. Oh, here they are. Yeah, Nox is very bugged apparently, but hopefully he can still fight. I want to know the name of this guy. Uh, who the hell are you? Kanker, Kanker. There you go. Jesus Christ, man. Sure, I'm gonna kill you. Come on, guys, start shooting. Man, he's very strong. Somebody in a wolf. Where is he? I'm trying not to hit them, but it's kind of hard right now. 
But at least they can see through Opus Cave. That's great. Sorry. <laughs> That's why you need to guys you should fight from a distance. If I won't hit you by mistake. There you go. Yeah, it wasn't as hard. Oh, there's a wolf still. There you go. Only one XP. Come on, this guy was pretty strong, huh? Damn. Oh, I thought this was going to crash. So as you can see, you take tons of damage. And also the the fight with a, a trio here just doesn't work as well as you would hope, you know? Sometimes they fight, other times they don't. Sometimes they follow your instructions, other times they don't. Sometimes they stop, other times they don't. Sometimes they enter stealth, other times they don't. So I, I more deal with the companion mod than like necessarily like it, you know? But I, I tried to play this mod before without using the companions and my god, it's just atrocious. The fights are way too hard. Jezebel alone completely dissuaded me. <laughs> I was like, eh, nope. Let's get the guys. Alright, let me gauge the distance here. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Tourette. Go. There you go. So the one one of the reasons why people don't like companion mod, and I already talked about this before, is because it's very unnatural. So if I go to Santa Monica right now and go to the offices, I will never see Tourette again unless I send her back. But it's already not going to be like her like she was before, you know. So it's kind of a double-edged sword because you get the the companions and you can walk around with them and it's cool. But you get basically like blood robots. So it's not like you are walking around with the actual Tourette. And even if you get like Bertram without using the Constupro or other people without having to use the the actual item, they still won't feel like their usual selves. So Bertram will not feel like Bertram and so on, you know. So you kind of kill the character, but it's fine if you already did everything that you could with the character, you know, which is the case of these two, that's why I chose these two here. But it's still weird, because it's never going to be the same, you know. But then you just need to remember that this is a mod, and you can just like play the normal one. So this is just a, an experiment, just something different, you know. Okay, so I already know you get the pamphlet here, and you are supposed to show it to cheerleader girl, damsel, damsel, Jesus. But you can go there straight away without needing to show her anything, if you know where the building is. Okay, let's just feed on this guy real quick. Come on, quickly, I don't want another masquerade violation here. I already have one. Okay. I think I have one, yeah, I have one. Okay. Come on, guys. <laughs> Where's the red? Who knows? There she is. So they randomly show up here. Okay, so that's it, guys, for today. So in the next episode, we are going to get our good old companions here. And we are going to take them to, to fight Vic. What else we are going to do here? We are going to go to the museum, but we are not going to take the, the companions with us. Hopefully I can get a scholarship point, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's available on this mod, to be honest. And maybe 3 is already the limit, so it wouldn't matter anyway. And basically that's it. What else can we do here? Oh, the Fat Larry Quest. We'll try to get the Larry Quest done too. Hopefully all we needed was extra persuasion. Where is it? Here. Now we have six. 
and Plague Barrier quests done. So, <laughs> very bugged as you can see. So get used to it because that's good. That's how it's going to be for the rest of the mod. So uh, that's it, guys. At the end here, I would just like to thank everybody that sent me some messages on the video before this one. Uh, I told told what happened uh, with me in the last month and stuff. Lots of cool messages. Uh, I was very happy. Uh, they helped a lot, actually. So I'm very grateful. So thank you for those, and hopefully I can post a bunch of videos here for you guys to enjoy. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.